In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this texture view. Okay, to start things off, I just added a colored background, my timeline, and above that I added some text. Alright, first, let's add our line by selecting the pen tool from the toolbar. Then click in front and above your text in the preview to create the first point for the vertical line. For the second point, Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click onto your text to create the point, and you may need to drag the second point a bit to the side so that the line is straight. Before we continue, move the graphics clip so that it lines up with your text clip and adjust its length to match it as well. Okay, now over in effect controls for the graphics clip, open the drop down for the line shape you just created. The line doesn't need to fill, but you'll want to give it a stroke. So go ahead and increase the stroke's thickness to your liking. Next, we'll need to animate the line, so click the scales, drop down, and turn off uniform scale. Before we continue, make sure your playhead is positioned at the start of your clip. Then set the vertical scale to zero, and click the vertical scale stopwatch to create a starting keyframe. Next, move the playhead a little bit forward, and increase the scale to 100 to automatically create the second keyframe. Now when we play this back, we have an animating line. Right now, the line is animating from the top. If you'd like to animate it from the middle instead, select the anchor point setting and in the preview, move the anchor point to the middle of your line. Okay, I think that looks better, but let's move the animation out by dragging to select the two keyframes, right-click one of them, and select isn't. That looks smoother, but if you want to speed it up a bit, just click anywhere to deselect the keyframes, and then drag the second keyframe closer to the first one. Alright, that's definitely faster. So now let's work on animating the text for the reveal. First, select your text clip from the timeline. Then, in effect, controls move the playhead so that it's positioned right after where the line animation ends. Then adjust the text position so that the end of it is almost touching the line, and click the position stopwatch to create a certain keyframe. Now move the playhead to where you want your text to be revealed by, and drag the position's first value to the right to move your text to the side of the line, which will automatically create a second keyframe. All right, all that's left to do is hide our texts before it crosses the line. So let's go over to the effects panel and type crop into the search box. Then drag the crop effect onto your text clip on the timeline. Back in effect controls, just move the playhead to where your text was in front of your line. Then adjust the crop's left value so that your text is just barely cropped out of the frame. Now when I play this back, we have our text reveal. Finally, let's smooth out our moving text by dragging to select our text position keyframes. Then right-click them, go to Temporal Interpolation, and select Ease In. This is looking better, but I think easing it out would improve it even further. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Alright. Right, and that's all there is to creating this reveal. I hope you guys found this useful, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.